Hello everybody, I'm Afrit Subedi and welcome to another video on my YouTube channel. Hello, welcome to demonstration section. This is a main screen where you land up. So here you have various options to sign in and register yourself. I hope you have you are new to the system. So let's begin with registering our new soft. So let's give a business title Google. Search more. Find more tagline so they'll definitely be using google gmail right so gmail contact number okay let's just use something like one two three four five six seven eight facebook page link like Google. So let us go and select new full new photos. Okay. So now we have after we set up these client detail the the client detail the taglines and various things. So let's go and set up the admin user Sundar Pichai, the CEO of Google. Pichai, S U N D A R Sundar password okay let me just save my own password so email sunder p chai at the rate gmail.com this might not be his email address so facebook miss you we just need to mention so let me upload his photo so let me register this up so now there is a pop-up saying that please log in to the system with your login credential. Okay, so the Pichai was the CM Pierce. Pichai password. I have saved. Sub code is Google. So I made a mistake. Sundar Pan. So this is his dashboard, his admin to the SOP, right? So his this is his dashboard, the one red is one register user, that's Sundar Pichai, that's his account seating, there are various account settings. So all the system is quite empty. The all system is quite empty because because this is totally a new system. Let me just log out and log in via my system so that I can explain you more quite interesting features also. So that's at with I want to let me log in. So this is my dashboard. This is my dashboard, right? So in this dashboard section, what we have is what now I have quite interesting dashboard. I have my today's sales summary, I have my total profits. I have my total profit, total per item sold. So we have registered and logged into our system. And now let me just go and explain quite interesting features like account settings that I've just discussed over there. As I'm admin of these of my shop, so I can view these. So I can also edit these sections also. I can also edit these sections also. I can re I can re reset my user details. I can reset my password. So let, let us come back to dashboard where I have two register product. I can click and go view product. All these are my view products. So these are on the categories table. These are on the brand table. These are big, different variants available. These are different variants available. These are different variants available. And these are this is a selling price. This is a mark price. This is a mark price. We offer 5% discount and the computer computes for you uh, your mark price, right? So let us view these products. Okay. We can do that by clicking that icon so here we have here we are so this is product product manager about t-shirts information the name product of name is t-shirt this falls under the category of t-shirt brands of adidas so here we have description so we can use this for making our front-end website that, that'll be quite interesting where our consumer our customer can directly buy from 
product. So here we have selling price as a mark price and we have offer 5% as I've already told. The status is available because we have quantity, we have used quantity remaining, right? So these are all the things, these are different variants, these are these are available variants available in black size is, size is large quantity 49 we can just view different e different product images so more interesting more data we can just use the password for admin given for admin so that will display the cost price and the profit that will display the cost price and profit which automatically hides after certain intervals so that that becomes quite secure for us so we can edit this product also. We can edit the product. We can edit the variant. So let me just see. Boys, cool T-shirt. So let me just edit these thing. Let me just go and update some variant. Okay, these are available in fifty. These are available in twenty. This is twenty-five. So fifty. So let me just go. And click update for each of these variants are updated each so here I forgot boy cool t-shirt so now you can click an update product so then I get new name for this right I get new name so you can know you get so I updated this product also now that's 50 now the total product is 50 we can add different variants now if same product have different variants now we buy so we can add similarly we can remove those if we don't want we can add these variants also so now let me just go back now i've already explained about products so let me just go to product categories so these are product categories we we can add different categories so let me just think add electronics electronics so let me add product. So here I get a prompt. Congratulations, your categories has been successfully added. This is electronics category. I can perform various actions like okay, let me just select all and make these delete apply. I can select so that all this all you we have prompt all these actions have been deleted. These pants, these t-shirts. So let me just go and restore these items to publish these three items to publish let me just go and restore mobile phone let me just go and restore mobile phone and let me go to product brand which is quite similar product categories I was restoring more product categories and let me go to edit section and make it as draft these categories are now these are the things so let me just go and explain product brand which is quite similar we can add different brands over here we can add different brands over here like polo so so here we have added the polo yeah, i can delete these polo also i can de delete this polo here we get a prompt okay yes i want to delete this polo so here we get a prompt saying brand has been successfully deleted so now all these action that i perform is written in a log table where the admin can access and find out what are the what the employees are exactly working on the system so brand polo has been deleted by akrit subedi brand new brand polo has been added okay mobile phone has been changed to status these are various categories so you can see various in increase i just can filter out those like oh i just want to know who have who is deleting like brand polo has been deleted these categories okay all these are the actions all these are the various actions right so now new stock let me add new stock to the system now we'll add new product the product name is cool star shoes cool star shoes First of all, let me just add those brands. Let me just add the brand Cool. Cool Star, the brand must be there. The Cool Star brand must be there. So let me just go back and add categories like important categories. Like so now, now when I go to new stock, I get quite interesting, right? Cool star school. So 
now I can select the brand available brands I can select the categories I can explain about that so now let me just choose file okay I'll upload navy color the color is navy mm. Can choose different colors available over there okay I'll have 25 quantities so the size is small so let me just upload different variant now different variant sorry different variant now so that's green in color I have 25 and is the available size is medium now let me just upload new that's white in color. White in color. I have 25 such white. Sorry, this is green in color, right? Green in color. I forgot to change the previous color, right? So this is white in color. Let me just select white as large in size. That's large in size. Oh, I don't have other variants, so let me just delete. I've added. I can delete that, right? They, the manufacturer cost price is thousand rupees and the selling price is thousand eleven fifty. They don't have huge price range and they do offer good discounts. So you may use those product, right? So let me just cross those down. Here. Let me now add these product. You can see these product now. You see the prompt, right? The gold star has been added. You have total quantities available in different variants. The cash price, the selling price, offer discount, gold star. Let me just go view it. This is the various product that we had. These are various things. So these are different variants that I've ordered. This. So let me see how much profit I'm making it. So the admin password. So here we get thousand rupees as package. I'm making profit of thousand eleven. Now what if I made a wrong attempt of this? So let me just type something wrong. The local the website says wrong attempt so the wrong attempt is also written in a log so that the admin comes to know these people are trying to see your credential things like wrong attempt on password field and this is marked right so that that grabs the focus of admins also right? by accurate security right so now let, let me go i've already explained about product categories log so now let me go explain about money transaction section so this money transaction section keeps a complete record this gives a complete record of income expenditure everything right and gives a summary of these table like gross profit due the amount due these total expenditure total profit and loss total cash receipt so let me just now add okay you can even filter this like okay i just want to filter expenditure these are my different expenditure okay let me just go and filter my income so these are my various income okay so now I have to add expenditure because I bought gold star shoes, right? Gold. And that cost me thousand rupees and I have 75 means that 75,000 rupees bought. Expenditure by gold star sports shoes. So status is successful. Let me add it. So I get a prompt saying now here we have like gold star shoes. Now that has been added to my expenditure and my company is in loss because I have more expenditure than my income. So let, let us generate income. Let us generate income which now let us generate income. Okay. Huge mm. bonus. Huge bonus. So uh, that's something like okay, more than this is my loss amount, right? So let me add about sixteen. So profit transaction transaction amount transaction profit is about whole less due is zero. Due is zero. Let me just go and describe this lottery. Hello, Tiki. Lottery offer. I just won lottery how you know won lottery offers successful 
let me just add these transactions that will make my company so the company in profit now the company is in profit because i have a lottery use bonus lottery so let me just go and this is all about transactions so customer is that section that or that simply gives you a track about your customers that simply gives you a track about your customers right so you can add add new customers you can add new customers and do various options so let me just go to order section order section that gives about your new transaction so you can select a customer from here so here is a drop down if you don't have a customer so that will give you a drop down of to add new customer over here so let me just add new i have a customer named youtube viewers okay let me just add for that youtube viewers is going to buy gold star gold star shoes now of various colors and he was quantity two quantity okay gold star in another color in another color okay this is also of two quantity i offer you huge discount of 10 percent less right so fair amount okay you pay me four thousand 3500 and remaining dues are calculated automatically and okay i'll deliver you compute and let me submit this order let me submit this order and this will give you a brief description when i click on view i get a complete description about the buyers about the buyers location the email contact email phone numbers date and delivery location pending status delivery status pending gold star the order items like gold star shoes in this color gold star this total quantity is this and you do remaining and paid amount in cash so 3500 you have paid so let me just go and so some quick updates that is performed by the system this is like total profit has been changed so here we have another from you to viewers gold star shoes these are still the in the status of deliver pending and this gives a payment detail and total description about there your expenditure total item sold for today that last 24 hours so that was it so what, what we were looking now this this is all about order right so this is all about order you could add new orders you could view different orders you could view different orders you can even edit those orders you can filter those orders so now let me just go to delivery sections so now let me just go to delivery sections and you have a delivery request from you to viewers from these order i can just click and i can just can click and find out what are the products that i have to deliver so that that helps a delivery team now let me just go and change this status to delivered and apply so that this becomes delivered this product okay, becomes delivered and i have different things over here like status is now delivered with the status is delivered pending now let me just go and explain about new users you can add new users with the, to the system so these uh, and then you can just simply fill this form like filling full name first name last name username password and you assigning a various role and i'm signed up with admin so that i have different things different things like money transactions i can view money transaction i can view logs i can view dashboard with different um, profit and loss so but that's not useful for every other user so let me just explain that with my another account over here so let me just so let me just log in to the system so uh, this account is not associated with admin account so he's quite privileged with different things now he can't view log over here you can see uh, the difference over here. here you have various options like log money transaction barcode barcode you can view users detail and in account settings also in account settings also you have account settings you can view the shop detail and you can update shop details also while we he don't have these options like he don't have shop options but he can view his own detail and change his password and he's quite privileged so let me just explain the chat the online chatting system that we have and over here so let me just go to online users let me just go to online users over here and let, let us 
So you can see two users are online, Akrit Subiri and Ravindra Sista. So let me see. Hello to Ravindra. Hello, Ravind. Ravindra. So you can see a message pop up over here, right? Ravindra. So that's sent by Akrit. So now Ravindra said, hello, sir. Hello, sir. You can see those messages. So describe. List the low stock items. I gave an order. Okay. Nikon DSLR. Stock. That's a basic communication. So let me just come over here in Ravindra's account. We, he don't have those privileges, but he has different same privileges like setting up accounts, brands, new stocks, list stocks, list stocks. He can perform various other different actions. He can view delivery reports, but he is privileged of doing some account, some things like right? something. So now this account is not useful for me. So I'm I'm gonna. No, I'm not gonna use this account, so I'm gonna. I, I just can't hold up my account so that other people can't use my system in lock screen mode. So, if someone other tries, wrong attempts has been logged out from this system. Now, I'm not using that. Okay, let me come back to my own system. This is all where we had good conversation with Ravindra. So, let me just go and explain another thing like order. We have already explained order. Let me. Go and explain about view users how view users is important like view users view users like Ravindra okay what are the let me see about Ravindra so let, I can click over here and I can get what are the different actions Ravindra perform he logged into the system at 58 he logged out to this logged off to the system at 1501 and he logged in again with 1501 at least second right so these are various actions let me just go and so my actions right let me just go my actions like what are my various activities okay there are 25 different activities performed by me these are various other all these activities are listed with the particular time right i view drug in the sister detail also that has, that has been encountered over here so that's it that's it I have explained every features. I think I have discussed about every features. He's alert about uh, the low stock that Ravindra was talking to us. So I can also go. I can just hold my screen so that no other people can use it. And wrong attempt. Now this search bar is also quite interesting. I can just add like new product. So I can search so that I get over here. I just can type customer. So that I get the information about customers over here. These um, this search bar is also quite interesting and powerful. So you may try that. You may try that. Hope this product. Hope you like this video. Make sure you subscribe for more updates. Um, and I'm I'm going I'm I'm logging out from my system. Thank you for watching. Where the where I've explained about complete demonstration about accessing stock management, registering your, your new shop and uh, performing various actions over there if you have see if you have various queries let me know in the comment section below thank you for watching goodbye with the good news and the good news is that the, uh, the project that i've just demonstrated now i have already hosted this project on my domain so the link is given in the description section below you can access this web product you can access this product on the website uh, given in the description section below all the login credentials are also mentioned in the description section so that you can access that product You can access that product. You can add product. You can add various product You can perform various other action that I've already illustrated. I have already illustrated over there. So That's it. Thank you. Thank you for watching guys